This is my 25th year at Camp Quality. I've been coming since 94. Um, I was diagnosed in February of 94, and camp was in June, so I had four, four months of treatment. I was in treatment for two and a half years, but four months of treatment, and then got to join this place, so. My name is Jasmine Cousins. This is my 16th year at camp. So I was diagnosed when I was about one and a half, so I was really, really little, and I hadn't, gotten to camp for the first time until I was about four, I think was the first year that I had went. Four or five would have been. So it was a little bit in between. I remember the medical staff uh, telling my mom and me about the camp. I remember the first time going on the bus and crying the entire time on the bus. And I remember a camper, her name was Janetta. She sat with me on the bus while I cried the entire time and she assured me it'd be okay. Um, and then when I got on the bus to go back home, I cried because I didn't want to leave. So it was kind of funny just how a little turnaround it was. Did not want to leave at all. My name is Sloan and, goodness, five, six, seven, I think this is my eighth year at camp as a camper. 
and a companion. So I was diagnosed when I was 15 and gosh, that was in October. And I've never been really the camp person at all. I like my own bed. I like going out to eat to dinner. I'm, I've tried a bunch of other camps before, but going through my chemotherapies, the nurses would always push and be like, you got to try camp quality sometime. You're going to have so much fun. And um, so I was diagnosed in October and it took me some time to really think about camp. I actually, my first year I came late because I was just scared of meeting new people and the just camp experience in general. So um, October and then camp is in June. So only a few months was I able to come. I know, I was like, get what you want first. She's a companion. Yeah. Yeah. Only the first time touching down on the count of three, you're going to open your eyes, be fully wide awake. And then when I ask volunteers to come up and I say, sleep, you can go 10 times deeper, feel 10 times more wonderful. Nod your head if you understand. Perfect. Now get ready to open your eyes on the count of three and feel like you had a 15, 20 minute nap. One, two, and three. Oh, yeah. Give her a round of applause. Guys up there. Where's the guys? Come on. Come on. You're going to do it? 18. Yeah, 18. Come on. I love it. Okay, now, everybody got shoes and sandals on right good because I take care of my volunteers. Everybody take your head, lean it over on the shoulder of the person to the left of you. Just lay down. Lay down. Oh, just take it. Not going to bite. Just lay down. There you go. I have just bought everybody tickets to your favorite amusement park, and you're on a brand new roller coaster ride. Nod your head if you understand. On the count of three with your eyes closed, you're on the world's safest, funnest roller coaster ride. On the count of three. To the right, to the left. You're going down another hill. Scream, scream. On the count of three, you realize you're now the world's greatest horse jockey. You're at the Kentucky Derby. On the count of three, your chair is going to become the saddle of your horse. And it's Kentucky Derby Day. And you must prove that you are the world's greatest horse jockey by winning this race. Nod your head if you understand. Nod your head. You must ride in this. You must ride in the Kentucky Derby hard to win. You must win. Here we go. On the count of three, with your eyes closed, you'll set up your chair, the saddle of your horse. You're going to jockey the horse into the gate and you're going to use your riding whip and get jockeyed into the gate you're going to hear the announcer say place your bets and they're off ride right, that horse you're coming around the first turn lean to the left lean to the left oh yeah you're on the back straightaway back straightaway wait a minute look at the jockey beside you on the count of three you're going to realize that you, when you open your eyes and remain hypnotized you're about to win a hundred billion dollars in the Powerball drawing, the first ever camp quality, out of this world Powerball drawing. Open your eyes, look at me. Oh, Powerball? Oh, who else wants a Powerball? Oh, Powerball ticket? Excited? Powerball ticket right there. Who else wants a Powerball ticket? Here we go. One number left for the first ever camp quality, out of this world Powerball drawing. There's going to be some high five party in here. A hundred billion dollars of Powerball number is number 12. You're gonna buy Blake Shell. I'm gonna buy all the elephants in the world. Nice. What are you gonna buy with your money? I'm gonna pay off my student loans. I'm gonna get a ranch house, go out the country, start a nice little farm, just be happy. Nice. That's gonna be good. You know, you're gonna pay off your student loans. Have you ever thought you could buy the college? 
Now we're talking. Now we're talking, baby. Now we're talking. Round of applause, feeling fantastic. And five, wide awake. There they are, y'all. There they are. Let them hear it. Take a bow, y'all. Take a bow. Give it up for the stars of your show. And so thank you, Ted. While I was still a camper, I had uh, about 13 different companions, or no, I had nine companions in my 13 years. And it was my last companion that really, my last two that brought it home for me that I wanted to come back and really give back to the camp. And I'd always planned on doing something, but just their interactions with me made me want to be a companion. It made me want to, you know, really connect with the family of another kid like myself and show them that it's okay to be you to have fun. 